football for me is just everything. It shaped me a lot. For me, football is the tool that you can bring everyone together. I came to Australia when I was 11 years old from Ethiopia. The first thing I did was, you know, join a soccer club and I learned the language through football. My name is Abdul Malik, founder and the president of Fitzroy Lions Soccer Club in Melbourne, Australia. Fitzroy Lions Soccer Club is a local club, just, just providing to the kids that need the most. You have to go up with the air. I gave up on soccer because I could not afford to pay registration. So I said to myself, there might be other kids in the community that are struggling. Football should be for free. And official line is making sure kids play for free. I'm a Somali girl. Me playing soccer at this age will be a big deal. I'll be like, oh, she's a girl, why is she playing? When I started playing soccer here, I felt more comfortable day by day because I see like people around me that play soccer that wear hijab, and I feel like we broke a stereotype. Fitzroy Alliance has opened a good opportunity for us to play soccer. You want to encourage more Muslim girls to be playing because at the moment there aren't really that many. After Abdul Malik spoke to some of the parents, they started encouraging us more often. What's so special about Future Alliance is that the people around you are always there for you. I feel like I belong more. They're going through some of the same stuff that you're going through as well. You're not alone. We live in a mixed community. What I want to change is the way they see the kids that are especially from African backgrounds. Go one more and stay in it. If we don't win this game, we're still going to walk off this pitch proud. Push each other up to that final minute, okay? Come on, boys, let's do this. Right. Fitzroy, three, family or six. One, two, three, Fitzroy. Four, five, six, family. There's one percent that just do bad stuff. I just want to make sure they are seen as it's not just like it's walking on the streets. I always tell the kids, there's going to be a lot of things that hold you back, but just go for it. I left my country when I was three years old because of the war. I went to Kenya, Kakuma refugee camp. I stayed there for nine years. In 2015, I came to Australia. I played for the club for three years now. To the players and the coaches are like a family to me. They understand me. You know I love this kid. So he lives in Carlton. If he misses bus, he'll run. 7 a.m. conditioning. What time he needs to get up? Probably like 5.30. If I don't play soccer in a day, I'll probably get like sick or something. That's how much I love it. I've watched many of his games. He's still good, but I'm still better than him. <laughs> <laughs> From refugee camp to Australia, it's a long journey. And his ambition was just to become a soccer player. <laughs> The club model is obviously different to any other club. Like having that friendship with the parents, them being comfortable with you and just breaking down barriers. I'm just there to say like, yo, I got you back. Keep on doing, you know. Um, I established this club for the people like him, you know. I do want us to do what's good for us. He wants us to be happy and he wants us to succeed. I just want a community that just embraces each other's differences. Whether 
a white, black, a Muslim, a Christian. I cannot do that without football. No way.